Okay, so today I got some guppy grass in the mail, and uh, this is how it was packaged. Now, some people will, um, like, I literally recently just got a very, very poor example of how to package and ship plants because the person put them in a normal envelope like you would have a letter or you'd what you'd receive a bill in so so wrong this here is a lot better because this is a box now yes it's a little box but it works for smaller amounts of plants and what have you and it doesn't smush as easily as like a flat envelope or some sort of thing like that or even one of those bubble packaged little uh, plastic little things so anyway this is how it was packaged as you can see and I do apologize for the tripod <laughs> shadow the uh, the little screw on the side of the tripod kind of broke and I'm I'm making do with it so I'm I've got a shadow in the way but we'll make do so anyway this is how it is packaged here just a simple small little ziplock and if you look closely maybe the camera will show it up maybe maybe not you can see that obviously it is in a damp paper towel so let me open that real quick now actually before I open it I want to mention something else about this it's actually I don't know how well you can see but like okay maybe here we go see how I'm squeezing this and there's air they have actually got a nice little little bit of air pocket going on in this so you know what that does if you press down in one spot you're gonna kind of squish the plant but if you kind of overall kind of press at it you're not see how the air pocket is you're not gonna hurt the plant as much so that's kind of nice that they did that you don't notice it at first when you're just kind of touching it but when you kind of hold it you can really see that there is an air pocket the air in there like that so anyway moving on okay. so removing this out come on come on okay so here here it is Okay, so, obviously, as with any guppy grass, you're going to kind of see little dead spots when it gets shipped in the mail. This isn't the first time I've gotten guppy grass in the mail, and also you can see it's kind of curved on the edges, see, at the top here and then at the bottom here. It's supposed to be like a 7 to 10 inches long section of guppy grass and I mean it all well, this camera tell you what I have got to get a new screw for my tripod ah okay pardon that anyway you can see that it is green despite a few slight little yellowish spots but it it looks to be healthy and it's a fair amount of it because this guppy grass will grow pretty quick and I just wanted a, a fresh batch of it for another tank to start growing a nice little cluster of it and uh, so this this looks pretty healthy pretty good if you turned it like this and then this, yeah, I could see seven inches. 
I could see I could see seven inches possibly ten at this tallest possibly ten at this tallest point so I I would say the description was pretty accurate now I don't I don't see any roots any noticeable roots it looks like all stems but put these in a tank under bright lighting and you will see some roots before long as long as you let it get a nice good amount of uh, light each day like at least six hours minimum when you start trending towards the eight hour or more mark for having a light on on a tank that's when you can start to have a little bit of algae issues but the guppy grass actually can kind of suck up a lot of nutrients so I if some tanks I have guppy grass in and I will not have algae issues if I have the light on for eight hours or nine hours whereas other tanks I might have a little bit of issue it just depends how big the tank is how strong the lighting is and exactly how much guppy grass or other types of aquatic plants that you have in there and of course how many fish you have and all of that kind of different stuff there's a a lot of different things to take into account there but anyway, I just wanted to show this little video to show people who might not have gotten plants shipped in the mail before. This one from this seller came in this packaging, which is little, but it works. Yes, the plant had to be bent a little bit, but it will straighten out and it'd be perfectly fine. And in all reality, this is a decent sized clump. I could technically easily divide it into two, possibly more, but uh, which I'm, I very well might divide this into two, into two different tanks. Take half of the clump and put into one tank and half into another. But anyway, that, I just wanted to do this video to show some people who might be kind of curious about buying plants in the mail and wondering how stuff is shipped. This is just another example. Came in this little box. It was bent around in this damp paper towel in the Ziploc baggie that's underneath of it. And, I mean, that works perfectly fine. It, it It's not really like over smushed or anything and I mean it it looks to be in good shape so I'm gonna go throw this in a couple of my my little tanks I like to quarantine my aquarium plants yeah I know some people just give like a bleach dip or other types of dips me personally I let it sit in a little tank by itself for a while to make sure there ain't no hidden snail eggs because little pest snail eggs are like microscopic and you you really can't see them you'll look at it and you'll think oh there's nothing on it or maybe the person you bought it from is like oh no there's no snails on this and then you put it at a tank and then suddenly you're overwhelmed with a whole bunch of little pest snails I have certain aquariums I like to use for my plants because you don't need anything real big so I use like anywhere between a one to a three or a four a gallon depending on the size of the plant and how many plants I'm ordering at the same time to put together in the quarantine tank just a little little example of how you might possibly receive some aquatic plants in the mail wrapped in a damp paper towel in a ziplock in a little box simple it works and so there you go